Hi, I'm Dave. Thanks very much for joining me on YouTube. I fish for salmon. Very fortunate to be able to do so in July on the River Spey in Scotland. I tie my own salmon flies, but I suppose, like most anglers, we would probably confess to having far too many patterns and flies in our tackle boxes. Uh, and I'm no exception to that. I suppose I only use maybe seven or eight different patterns throughout the fortnight that we're able to fish in the summer and the rest of them well they look nice in the box but um, until you've caught fish on a particular pattern you tend not to feel that you're going to be confident and having confidence about catching fish with the fly that you're using is mysteriously part of the reason that these patterns are successful my favorite and most successful fly on spay is the ubiquitous cascade shrimp. Many anglers will have caught salmon throughout Scotland on that wonderful fly, but what I'm going to do in this video is show you three patterns that I've tied, they're not so well known, and I'll give you the times for them if you're a fly tyer, and you can maybe give them a swim the next time you're out. I've personally caught fish on all three of these patterns, and sometimes it's the first one out of the box for me, so confident am I in them. But, you know, uh, every fly has its day, but have a look at these three and see what you think. So I'll start off with a look at all the flies that I've tied in my fly boxes, and then I'll concentrate on these three that I've mentioned. I hope you catch the fish of a lifetime on one of them, if you do decide to give it a try. Thanks.
So this fly is called Miss Ellis. It's not a well-known fly, of course, because I tied it myself. It's not available in the shops, although similar flies, I suppose, are available. It's named after my little granddaughter, Ellis. As you can see, it's a very bright fly, nice if there's just a little bit of colour in the water. And one of the innovations I've made is to put a couple of uh, yellow goose bites in at the cheeks. The mylar or um, mirage body shows up well in the water and it's a good looking fly when it swims. Certainly caught fish on this, Miss Ellis. So the next one up is uh, what I call the Orange Posh Tosh, or Orange Tosh for short. Of course, the original Posh Tosh was a yellow and chartreuse green affair with a jungle cock eye, but this is an orange version with, you can see, a very distinct spiral orange threaded body over the silver. Um, it uh, is a very bright fly, and the cheeks, although not showing up too well here, are um, made from just a short length of opal mirage. It has a black top wing with uh, an orange underneath the black and the tail is orange bucktail as well. One or two strips of silver flash along the top just to finish it. It has an orange head. Um, I remember catching three fish on this fly and spay within about an hour. Uh, in the same pool and so it's a proven winner my orange tosh and the tangs for this fly and the previous one Miss Ellis will be shown on a still shot our still shots at the end of this short video orange tosh so the last of my three lesser known flies this one featured in the Trout and Salmon magazine many years ago. This is the Mediator, and you'll notice right away that there's no top wing or under wing on this fly. It's a palmered style body only. Uh, although not showing up too well on this shot, um, the tail is a mixture of orange, yellow and black bucktail with a couple of strands of silver flash or whatever you want to put in there. It's a black body with a silver tag and the body is palmered with an orange cock hackle locked in by the spiral silver wire up to the head and the head uh, comprises uh, a jungle cock eye on each side and a blue cock hackle at the very head uh, just that the eye is a red tying thread this fly has a red head to it uh, it's a great fly I remember contacting six fish in one day, lost two, landed four. It's another proven winner. I think you can buy them in the shops. There are certainly videos on YouTube showing how to tie it, but this is my tying. And again, I'll show you the tying at the end of this short video. Thank you again for watching. Cheers. Tight lines.